Howdy, homesteaders. Today, we're going to build a dog kennel. So there's sort of a story behind how we got this dog cage. Uh, we've been uh, noticing that our neighbor behind us, uh, they have a dog, uh, Chocolate Lab actually, uh, his name is Hershey, and he had a dog uh, cage, outdoor dog cage that they kept him in, and they just recently got him a new cage. And we noticed that the old cage was sitting up against the back of their house. So I was kind of wondering, he's like, well, I don't know, uh, maybe they would take money for it. And I thought maybe we would just offer them some money. And I, I decided to research how much of these dog cages cost brand new. And brand new for a 10 foot by 10 foot cage, which is what that one was, uh, it, it prices brand new for $200. So I was like, well, maybe they'll take, maybe they'll take like $80 for it or something. That's what I was thinking. So I was just thinking about maybe approaching them at some point uh, about the dog cage because we have a trip coming up and it'd be really handy to have a dog cage to keep Jasper in for the one or two days that we're going to be away. Uh, so then we were outside uh, doing some work and uh, the neighbor started walking over towards us. Yep. All right, honey? Yeah. And I was like, honey, that man's coming over here. So Tracy stopped stopped working. Yeah, and I went over there and uh, to talk talk to him, and it turned out uh, that he wanted to ask me about the chicken tractor that we were not using is just sitting in our backyard, uh, and it was a chicken tractor that was given to us by some friends, uh, very well made, but it was a small little chicken tractor, and he was wondering what we wa what I wanted to sell it for. So the first thing that came to my mind was, would you trade for the dog, the, uh, the dog cage? And that's the first thing I said. I said, like, well, uh, I'm trading for that dog cage over there. And then the guy added, acted a little indecisive, like he wasn't sure. I was like, well, I guess, I guess I would be getting a better end of that deal. And I said, well, I guess if I was going to sell you the, the chicken tractor, well, I don't know, uh, $30. And then he went over there. He said, "I'm not buying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my brother." I said, like, "Well, ask him what he wants for the uh, the dog cage, right?" So I asked him what he wanted to sell the dog cage for. So then, you know, as he went over there, I was kind of halfway thinking, "Wouldn't it be great if he just traded?" And he came back, and uh, what did he say, honey? Um, he said that he was going to trade. I wasn't too happy on this uh, on the trade. I, I mean, on selling. The chicken tractors. I had plans in my mind for that chicken tractor for some meat chickens this year, but um, yeah, it, we got the better end of the deal. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, so when he came back and he said he, uh, he asked me if I wanted to trade, I was like, "Yeah, done deal. I want to trade." So we traded even Stephen uh, chicken tractor for the uh, dog cage. And then, you know, I took the, the chicken tractor over there to them using my dolly. And then I started helping to, to take the uh, cage over to our yard. And they brought a couple pieces over. I brought a couple pieces over. And uh, that was pretty much the story behind it. And really, you know, you never know what someone's going to do. Uh, to him, that dog cage was a problem he had to get rid of. And he wanted a chicken tractor. And so I was willing to give him a chicken tractor to help him take care of a problem of getting rid of his dog cage. So really both of us made out on the deal. And when you can get a deal when both people are happy, that's the kind of deal that you want. All right, what we got going on here is this fence 
has a uh, patchwork that needs to be done on it. And uh, basically it was already done before, but we're just fixing it up a little bit, making it a little bit better. Uh, it was just kind of wired on here. So we're going to use now, I'm going to use some of these uh, J-clips. That's what I use for making rabbit cages and stuff like that, but they make for very good fasteners. They're made out of metal. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on. As you can see, a J-clip, it looks just like the letter J. See how it goes like that? So what you do is you have your little pliers, and I think this is the right way to do it. I haven't done this in a little while. But you put it in there with the little curve side on the bottom, and the long end on the top side where you get the most leverage. And whenever you go to squeeze that, it's going to curl around whatever you got it on. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the wire. All right. Make sure I put this right where I want it. Against here. Got a good intersection. That looks good. Okay, that didn't work. These J-clips might not be big enough to take, yeah. for this thick wire. So since it's not big enough for this thick wire, i got to go to plan B. Okay, now this is my plan B. I found me a pretty nice little chain right here. So I'm going to take this chain, cut off a little length of chain. I'm going to use this to connect it to the cage. I want it to be strong. I want to make sure it doesn't come loose. But I don't think this is going to do the trick. What I'm going to use to cut this with is my little bolt cutter. She'll work just fine. As you can see right here, I already cut right through it. So I'm going to take this part right here, bend it around, and take this part and bend it around. Just use what you've got.